Hey guys. I know I'm very shiny right now and I have to try to remember to look at the camera, not, not that. Okay. So today I just want to share with everybody my favorite products. Um, it's like a general favorite products all across the board, hair, skin, nails, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and then I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm going to demonstrate like one or two of them maybe. Um, and you can tell I have very oily skin. Excuse the hairdo too. I just woke up from a nap. What can I say? So, um, the first product that I'm going to start with because I want to use it right away is um, this rose water um, from Mario Badescu. Now, there are other rose waters out there in the world. I have tried some. This one is only, I think it's four or five dollars for this size and it lasts forever. Ooh. And you can use it as a toner, um, a setting spray. You can use it as like really almost anything that you want. Um, I just really love it because it's really mild. It's a great toner for during the winter um, because it's not super, super drying. And I'm just, Normally, I let it dry by itself, but I don't really want to sit here with, you know, a bunch of crap on my face. All right, so since we're talking about facial stuff, I guess that's where, you know, I'll continue to go. Um, like I said, I have very oily skin. I love these wipes, okay? They are the best. Um, years ago, I started using the African black soap, just like a, a bar soap, and it was great. It worked fantastic, but I don't know, like sometimes I'm just lazy. <laughs> so these wipes are amazing. They take the makeup off, they don't leave any residue, and they take all the makeup and dirt out of your skin without drying it out because um, there's like certain oils and stuff in it, and they're biodegradable which means that they're not gonna hang out in the landfill for like 40 years. So that to me is a very good thing. Okay, so next as far as skincare goes, because I have very oily skin, um, you know, I'm in my mid 30s and I probably really shouldn't be dealing with acne as bad as I am, but I am. So, um, for the last, since July, it's December, seven, 12, five, five months. <laughs> Math is not my forte. Um, I've been using Curology. Now this is, it's like an online dermatologist that you can see. Uh, you send them pictures of your, of your face, kind of answer some questions, and then they send you this like on an auto delivery. Now this is the two month size. Um, because I get it, I'd rather, I don't want to run out, so I get the two month si size, like every other month, um, and it's amazing. It has worked great. Um, there was a short period of time that I didn't have, I didn't have it for a couple weeks, like maybe two or three weeks, and I paid the price. I definitely paid the price. It has helped so much with not only my acne, um, but also the discoloration and I also have like I have a lot of acne scarring just like from acne sorry the lighting's not the greatest I'm working on that um, I have a lot of scars just in general from like living on my face unfortunately um, but the Curology has helped to diminish some of the hyperpigmentation um, and then when I do get a breakout believe it or not but all these were active pimples like 24 48 hours ago so they, they clear everything up super amazing okay so that's another must-have can't live without that um, the next guy is from juice beauty this is the soothing eye concentrate so it's an eye moisturizer. A little bit goes a long way. I'm only about halfway, well, I guess a little more than halfway through this. And I think I've had that for about six months. 
So I do only use it sometimes twice, but um, usually only once a day. And I just kind of rub it all over, all over my eyes, even like in here and stuff. Because I have it like you forget, I don't know, but you forget about this part here. You know, like that needs to be moisturized and taken care of too. Okay. So that's skincare. Those, I use those three items daily, four items daily, and I can't go without them. Um, and then the next item for skincare, taking care of your skin is very important. It doesn't matter how much you spend on makeup. If you have bad skin, your makeup is going to look like shit. It's just, it's, it's just the way it is. So having a good base helps your makeup look better. Um, I also love this, the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion. There are a few different, um, there are a few different kinds for different skin types. This one is the anti-aging one. It's good for all skin types. I love this. It really, it exfoliates so amazing. I love it. Now this one, I usually, this one I only use maybe once or twice a month because it is, you're not supposed you're not supposed to exfoliate every day and then microdermabrasion is like extra heavy exfoliation so you don't want to do that too often because it can irritate your skin so this like once or twice a month amazing i love it all right so now we're going to move on to chapstick because my lips are dry and i want to put some on <laughs> um and this guy it's not your typical chapstick and i know it looks more like a lip gloss see how shiny i love it but it's actually it's from um a company called glamour dolls and it's their lip jelly it's a lip conditioner and there's honey and they're funny too do i have it says beaches love this jelly this is transfer from the stuff like the 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 the, 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 the protective thing that was on it um i love this i seriously have three of these going. I have one on my vanity, one by my bed, and then one in my purse. Um, it is such a amazing lip conditioner. I have tried a bunch of different ones, straight vitamin E, like just a bunch of different stuff. This is awesome. I recently ordered, and it's only $5 a tube. Um, they actually had a special where they were only a dollar or two a couple weeks ago and I ordered five of them and I gave, I think I, I kept two and then the rest I kind of gave as gifts because they're amazing. I love it. I'm in love with it. It's, you really need to try it. Okay. Glamourdolls.com. And no, they're not paying me. They're not, none of that stuff. I just love that stuff. Oh, right. So we're going to move to nails for a moment because this is the next thing that was on my neck sitting next to me <laughs> um this is a lavender cuticle oil from a company called deco miami now i received this in one of my beauty subscriptions i don't remember which one because i get all of them <laughs> well 90 percent of them i should say and it smells amazing and it works really really well I get really dry cuticles, like super, super dry, especially when the, especially at this season. So that stuff has been a lifesaver um, with not just keeping my cuticles mo moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word. Uh, so we'll say hydrated, keeping my cuticles hydrated. Um, but it also helps when your nails are healthy and the nail beds are healthy, your nails and your nail polish are better. So this polish I've actually had on for over a week and it looks like I just painted my nails. The only, I only have this part right here that chipped, just that part right there. And that was a place where I think the cuticle had overgrown. So since I've been using that a little more regularly than I was that, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was my middle finger. Okay. If you hear the scratching, ignore it. It's the dog. I'm not going to get up and let her in because I'm almost done and she can wait. She decided to run away before I started so she can wait. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to like makeup stuff next. Um, 
This is my favorite mascara in the world, Maybelline Illegal Langs. Now I do use the waterproof version, um, and I guess I can put some of this on. Now I use this mostly as like a, like a primer for mascara. Mm, my lashes, it doesn't matter how much I curl them, what kind of curler I use, you know, what happens, a lot of mascaras as they dry straightens it straightens my lashes out so this it's a legal length it is a, a fiber extension so it has fibers built into it and it's amazing I'm gonna try to apply this without a mirror just kind of using the screen now I do have you know regular lash primers I have one from Lancome one from Blink. I have a couple different ones. But the sad thing is when I use those, they uncurl my lashes. So I'm trying to not make a mess. Okay. So, and I need to replace this one too. I use this as a base because you can see how it defined the lashes just enough. And then you put on, you know, your Better Than Sex mascara, which I love, um, you know, or whatever mascara you're, you're, you're digging at the moment. Um, ooh, and then you don't have to, I don't have to worry about my eyelashes uncurling. And if I'm just doing, like if I'm just doing a very simple face and I don't wanna go crazy with lashes or anything, I just do a couple coats of this and I'm good to go. So this, I've been using this for years and it's, sometimes I have trouble finding it in stores. So if it ever goes away, I'm gonna be extremely sad. <laughs> extremely sad. Um, a lot of places don't carry the waterproof version, but the waterproof one is the only one that doesn't uncurl my lashes as it dries. Um, like the normal, the normal formula does for some, I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, so that's that. Um, up next, I guess we'll talk about foundation. Now, I have two favorites. Um, one of them is considered to be a prestige brand, which is just one of the higher-end brands. And then another one is a drugstore brand. And I use these inter... Like, they're the same for me. Like, they literally work the same on my skin. So I, you know, it depends on what I'm doing, which one I use. Um, so I have the higher end one is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This is in warm light. And I have like a, a light medium skin tone, more on the light side during the winter. So this is, you know, this is the shade that I use then during the winter. This stuff is amazing. I have oily skin. Um, I sweat a lot. Uh, you know this lasts throughout the day without any touch-ups so I absolutely I love this so bare minerals definitely try it and then I also love wet n wilds photo focus foundation this is a nude ivory um, and this is amazing this is like six bucks and to me it works just as well as the bare minerals one Excuse me. So, depending on what I'm doing, um, you know, I'll use this one instead of the Bare Minerals, or sometimes I mix them together, too. I know, I'm weird. Um, but I like to play around, and I like to try new things. So, I actually, I had the Photo Focus in a darker shade, because um, I do go a shade darker, a lot of people do, for the summer months. But for some reason, and it, it's probably my skin's fault, um, the darker shade oxidizes as I wear it, which means that it darkens. Um, and that's just a chemical reaction between the foundation um, and like the oils in my skin. So the darker shade oxidizes and I look orange, it's pretty bad. Um, but this one, this shade, I haven't had any trouble with. It doesn't do that. Coffee break. Okay. Um, brows. Brows are super important, especially for me. Now you can't really, ah, uh, there you can see right here, I have a scar. 
through this one. That's because I fainted and smashed my face. And then this scar right here is from, I had my eyebrow pierced when I was a teenager and my mom was cutting my hair and she ripped, she ripped the earring out of my face. So that, thanks mom. All right, but anyway, pencils are important. This is from The Brow Gal. Another one that I got in a beauty subscription and I love it. Such good quality. Like I have been using this every day for months um, and I haven't even had to sharpen it yet. A little bit goes a long way. It has a built-in spoolie, which unfortunately a lot of the braille pencils don't, which is ridiculous. And the cap is a built-in sharpener. I love that. Um, so, and this one, it lasts all day. I sweat. I. You know, when you sweat, it gets in your, it, you know, your eyebrows, well, it'll collect. I blot them and it doesn't come off. So I really, really like that. Um, and then we'll do highlighter. Highlighter is important. I'm shiny enough that I don't need one, but <laughs> when I wear makeup, you know, the shininess goes away. So you kind of need a highlighter. My absolute favorite highlighter is um, this one from Too Faced. It's the Unicorn Tears. So this is only available at Ulta in the Unicorn Survival Kit. So it's, and a little, again, a little bit goes a long way. And it's like an iridescent look. It's amazing. It lasts, um, and it, it's awesome. It is literally like the Unicorn Tears lipstick, but in a highlighter, which it has like a bluish tint in here but it doesn't look blue on your face it just looks beautiful um, and again it's only available at Ulta <laughs> um, in the unicorn survival kit but I love this out of all the highlighters I use that, that I have I use this one the most so we were down to the last three and the order in which I'm talking about these doesn't really matter it's just the, the order in which I picked them up Rimmel stay matte pressed powder everybody needs this. I don't care what kind of skin you have, this is the powder that you should be using on your face. This stuff is amazing. It really does keep you matte. A little bit goes a long way. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and just clean my brushes. I think that's not wet. A little bit goes a long way. So, I'm still shiny, but I'm not as shiny. And that's just a little bit of powder that accomplished that. So, it's, I love it. This is the only, that's my main powder that I use. And it's been like that for like at least five years. So that I use all the time. Um, I also use this guy for the D Slick. Sorry, I burped. I blame the coffee. Um, from Urban Decay, it is an oil control makeup setting spray, and it really does work. Um, I have some other setting sprays, but this one is by far my favorite. I absolutely love this one. It doesn't smell, it dries right away, um, and it actually works. So that I definitely suggest trying. And last but not least, I have a lipstick. Um, and this is from NYX. It's one of their matte lipsticks. And this is in the shade Indie Flick. Every girl needs a red lipstick. Um, now, depending on your coloring is the shade that you want to do. Like they have, this is an orangey red. You have blue reds, purple reds, blah, blah, blah. If you need help figuring that out, you can find it online. Or you can go to your local... your local Ulta, Sephora, or any makeup counter really for that matter. And then they would, you know, tell you based on your skin tone, your coloring, all that stuff, what they suggest. So this, 
is that's it's my favorite the formula lasts a long time now it is matte it's not doesn't look matte on me right now because I did have on the lip jelly so that's gonna add a little shine to it but it's not drying I just put on a little bit it looks great it'll last for a while I love it um, so yeah get you <laughs> a red lipstick don't be afraid do not be afraid I was afraid for a long time don't um, you just need to try you just need to find the one that works well with your coloring um, and then you'll be perfect you'll be golden all right, so I think this is it for today. I'll be wiping the stuff all off my face. Um, I might be filming more videos today. Um, I really don't know, but we'll figure it out. It'll be fun. We'll just figure it all out. All right, so please subscribe, share me on Facebook, and if there's any video that you have been looking for on YouTube but nobody has made it definitely leave it in the comments and let me know because I will try my best all right I'm done being a dork peace